Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here. Look at this, I'm wearing jeans. I haven't worn jeans in so long because I usually have to wear real pants. But anyway, believe it or not, this is a Monday and I kind of have the day off. Well, no I don't, I have meetings and stuff to work later on, but I have the lunch off. So I'm gonna go to what is a Pizza Hut buffet. Can you see where is it? Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut. So I just found out, I know they had them like certain places and they used to have them, but this Pizza Hut apparently still has a lunchtime buffet. So it's only a couple hours a day, only during the week. I believe it's about $11 plus tax, so it's like probably 12 bucks. But um, let's go eat some Pizza Hut, enjoy a buffet, and crush some food. Hey everybody, welcome to today's video where today we are at Pizza Hut for their all-you-can-eat lunch buffet. So this is at my local, well one of my local Pizza Huts, which is the Hamilton Pizza Hut on the mountain. If you're local, you'll know where to go. So, as you kind of saw at the beginning, there wasn't a lot of options. I'd say at a time there was probably three, maybe four pieces of, like four kinds of pizza. There was always one kind of pasta dish, which varied between a spaghetti with a bolognese. Uh, there was also like a cheese noodle at one point. They had a very limited salad selection, which was basically romaine lettuce and they had uh, tomatoes, cucumbers, um, dressing. They had a few croutons, um, which the funny thing as well, I was the only person in this whole restaurant for my whole time I was here that touched the salads, like the actual green salads. Everybody else was sticking to the pizza, uh, the pasta. There was little garlic breadsticks. There was also uh, pasta salad, which I did try. You'll see me try, and uh, well, I'll let you know what it's like when I try it. So what I was going to do is I had six slices of pizza per run so every time I go up to the buffet I'm getting six slices of pizza um, eventually I got onto the dessert pizzas of which I took three slices at a time and I also got into some cinnamon buns in which I took a third of the pan which was equivalent to like three to four pieces of pizza so if you really want to kind of do the math like every time I get a plate it's approximately the same kind of weight, value, etc, etc. Um, with the exception of the salads. The salads, I don't know if they would have been heavier, probably a little heavier. I was loading them up as much as I could, but if you notice, those plates are super, super small. They're literally like the size of my hand. So they didn't actually have like full-on, like quote-unquote dinner plates. They were more kind of like side plates, if that makes sense. Um, but anyway, so out of the, you know, I don't know, three, four p uh, kinds of pizza at a time, they did switch them up and they did vary. So while I was there, I would say almost every time or every time it went up, the pizzas would be slightly different or they'd have a slightly different uh, type of pizza. Now, I did not see any of what I would call like very, very, I'm going to say special or kind of more fancier or expensive pizzas. So the varieties of pizza I saw were a cheese pizza which, I mean, is as plain as you can get, a traditional pepperoni pizza. I also saw something which I kind of described kind of like a meat lover's pizza. So you had, like, um, little bits of, I don't know, what like sausage, uh, kind of like that, sausage, pepperoni, and tomatoes, I think that was. Um, so kind of those variations. They also had um, some, uh, there's normal cheese pizza. There's a Hawaiian pizza. They also had Hawaiian pizza. They also had kind of like a deluxe pizza where you had pepperoni, mushrooms, green peppers, onions. And then later on, I kind of feel like they just started throwing random stuff on a pizza. So like there's like there you had uh, just like red peppers, green onions, and I don't even know if there was anything else on it. Um, and near the end, they had these like pizzas, which literally were just like olives and onions. And then they would have like olives and pepperoni and like kind of just doing random stuff on the pizzas, I think, by the end of it. So, I mean, but it was fine. I mean, pizza's pizza for me, in my opinion. But what I will say, though, is that the all the food on the buffet, because it is a very small table, a small amount of food up there at once, um, even when the place was a little slower, when it picked up and was a little busier, everything was always at least like 
warm, like a good eating temperature, if not hot. So everything, all the food up there that was supposed to be hot was either a good eating temperature or too hot to eat. Um, so that was really good. So like everything was coming out pretty fresh, uh, which, I mean, makes a buffet a lot better. If all this stuff was cold, it would be a lot less enjoyable. Plus, if you don't know, I'm not a big cheese fan in general, and therefore pizza is not my favorite food. I don't mind pizza, but by no means would I be like, oh my god, I love pizza. It's just it's just fair for me. And that's cheese pizza. This is the this is the one or the one kind of pizza I liked the least out of all the kinds I tried. So I'll just might as well put that out there right now. Uh, I did try the pasta salad just uh, a moment ago on the last plate with the salad, and it was absolutely delicious. In fact, that was like one of the best pasta salads I've had in a really, really long time. So I would definitely recommend Pizza Hut's pasta salad, whether you are ordering it like normally, like here I even put the pasta salad as like a dressing on that one. Um, whether you're ordering it or having it at the buffet, the pasta salad was great. Um, so these pieces of pizza, you just saw my face, these ones are really hot. Um, and yes, if you haven't noticed, the slices of pizza are quite small. They varied from very, very small to like just small. But that's the way they're cutting the pizzas. I can't help it. So that's why I always got six at a time. The crusts, although they were like soft and light and fluffy, like I said, everything was fresh. Um, but I found like by the end of it, the sides of my mouth were getting like cut up actually from just the way I was shoving the crusts in. They were the perfect diameter to like for the point to fit into my mouth and then like right there then the crust to like braise or kind of rip up the sides of my mouth so i had to like start being a little careful at the end um as i was like like there you go right there you see it just perfectly braises the sides of my mouth um so i was kind of like cutting my uh cutting my lips or my my yeah my lips um my mouth eating these pieces of pizza they only had um, one server on, like, there. Like, there, there was not a lot of people working in this establishment, but there was only one server, um, and so she was really busy. She was running her, you know, running her tail off, uh, trying to accommodate everybody, trying to, you know, get everybody drinks and set up. Like, she was doing all the seating, and then, of course, like, the drinks and whatever else. So I have to actually give it to her, because she said this was, like, her first time... I don't know if it was her first time like doing the just the lunch buffet by herself or her first time working as a server by herself, but it sounded like she was pretty new or maybe they were short of staff or something. Um, so I do want to give a special thanks to her because like I doubt she'll ever see this video and I'm not going to say she did anything like outside of the norm, but she was working hard and so I, I always really appreciate that. So even if there was times where you know I went without a bit of a beverage, um, you know, water, what it be. Uh, I'm very empathetic and I'm very understanding as to such and there was definitely a reason for me to be without that beverage at the time. One thing I wish or what would have made this buffet a lot better if they would have had a fountain pop like a self-serve or they would have had a self-serve water station or something um, that would have been definitely a little bit of a betterment one to the staff make it easier on them and then for guests like myself who don't mind getting their own drinks. Um, so here's some traditional pepperoni pizza. I mean like again, like it's it's fine. It's Pizza Hut pizza and it's actually like hot like and, and fresh so you know respectably It's Just like Pizza Hut pizza. It's good If you've never had a Pizza Hut pizza, I would say it is In my opinion like out of the very traditional, you know, Pizza Hut, Domino's um, Papa John's you know, whatever, I do enjoy it a little bit more than, like, let's say a Domino's, for example. I find Domino's just has this really kind of weird taste. It, it's not as soft. Pizza Hut Pizza, the crust, at least here, was very, very soft today. And actually, as a child, Pizza Hut was definitely my favorite pizza. Um, that was, like, growing up. I used to I used to like pizza. I'm just not really a fan anymore. Um, especially kind of with the whole cheese thing. Which I'm going to get to here in a little bit. So again, uh, another pizza. That one again, like just kind of weird. They're just throwing anything on the pizzas at this point. And it's not like I'm complaining. I don't think anybody else is complaining. But like they weren't really seemingly normal, you know, variations of pizza. They were just kind of throwing whatever on the pizza. Like one even had like pineapple and sausage or something like that. Like just random stuff. Which, for the record, I don't mind pineapple on pizza. Like, there you go. There's That's actually probably the exact slice I was talking about. 
Um, pineapple's fine on pizza. I don't really care whether it's on there or not. I'm pretty indifferent about it. Uh, if you're not aware, I can eat pretty much anything. I'm not a very picky eater. And, yeah, again, I mean, you know, and pizza's not even my 100% favorite food to start. But, again, it was good. Um, what I was excited for at this point, because I was kind of getting tired of just the traditional pizzas, it, I wouldn't exactly call it flavor fatigue, but it was just a lot of the same pizza. Um, I was starting to eye out the dessert pizzas. So I was just trying to kind of hold off as long as I could because I knew once I started going to the desserts, I was going to want to stay on some of the desserts. <clears throat> so just crushing some of these uh, you know, normal slices of pizza. Um, so if you want to count out how many um, along, again, remember every plate has six slices of pizza and then the dessert pizzas always have three slices and then the cinnamon buns are a third about a third quarter to a third um, of a tray which is the equivalence of three or more slices of pizza and I will give you a final total of uh, pizza pieces or you know slices of pizza at the end so going back to the price um, at the beginning I thought it was about eleven dollars or like something like that and that was uh, like $11 after tax. So the price was actually $9.49 plus tax and then like any beverages were extra. So I do end up getting a diet soda here um, which cost me $3. Um, so my total bill came to... well I'll just tell you. My total bill came to I think it was $14.10 after taxes and before tip. Um, so, I mean, really, 14 bucks is pretty reasonable if you ask me. I have no complaints about paying that. So, here's this dessert pizza. It was like an apple pizza, kind of like an apple pie pizza. Man, it was so sweet. Like, I really, really, really love sweet things. But this thing was so sweet. And it was burning hot, too. But it was so sweet, especially after all the not-in-sweet pizzas. Also, the little cinnamon rolls there, you couldn't really see them. But I ate them all very fast. I did really enjoy those. And I was definitely going to make sure I had some more of those. Um, they're like little cinnamon rolls they do in a pan and they put icing on top. So again, trying to eat the normal pizzas before I go full on dessert mode. I went and grabbed some more of these little pizzas. Again, I have my diet soda as I mentioned. Um, so it was nice to have that change up. The, the main reason I actually got the diet soda was just so I had another liquid or beverage. Um, I didn't really need it. There wasn't like it wasn't like oh I'm getting flavor, flavor fatigue. I wanted to really change it up. I just got it because I kept drinking my water to an empty. Again, the lady was very very busy, the server, um, and it would take a little while for her to fill it up. So I was like, well, let me just also throw on a diet soda. So I have two glasses uh, of liquids on the table going. Uh, I could also have asked for another just glass of water, but I mean I don't mind paying three dollars for a diet soda which has free refills and, you know, whatever. When I'm getting my, my meal for, like, 10 bucks, you know, whatever we said. Um, so, again, this was that, like, olive and just onion pizza, which is kind of weird. Um, nice thing about Pizza Hut, it's just, like, a very friendly and safe pizza. Uh, it's very mild. There's no real strong flavors, etc. So you just saw the time. So it was 12.43. So by the time I got in to the uh, restaurant and started kind of eating... It was about 12, 10 to 12, 15. So I was at this point eating for about half an hour in the restaurant, eating half an hour. Again, back to this uh, dessert pizza, super sweet. Like I did enjoy it, but it was almost like too sweet for me. And for that to say that, like that's crazy. Like it was sweeter than the diet soda, like the diet Pepsi, which I mean, diet Pepsi is pretty sweet, but I did like it. And it was really nice to have the dessert option kind of to change that up. Um, in comparison to just those, you know, quote-unquote normal pizzas, um, because I think every buffet should always have a dessert option. Here's these cinnamon rolls. They're really light and kind of squishy and fluffy, so I was getting a, th a quarter to a third of the tray. I think at this point, there was the full-on third of the tray. Um, every time I went up, it was kind of funny. There, We kind of just had a bit of a rush for the last, like, half an hour, let's say. I arrived there, then I got really, really busy. Um, but at this point, it started to die down just a little bit, and I was the only one still there. Well, no, there's other people there, but they got got in way after me. Um, so I was like, I'm just going to eat these. And there's these people right by the buffet which just kept staring at me and, like, 
awe and disbelief and definitely wondering why I was eating so much as my belly started to protrude and I looked pregnant. But I did really enjoy these little cinnamon buns. So again, we're at like 12.53 there. So at this point we've been eating for about 40 minutes. Um, so again, there's when I went up and took like probably half the tray of the cinnamon buns. Um, again, just kind of closing off. I'm like, I'll just go do some cinnamon buns. I, I mean, I, I went kind of hard today. I didn't go like a 10 out of 10 hard. I went probably like a, maybe like an eight, seven or eight out of 10 hard. Um, you know, got asked for my bill, which there it is. So it's nine dollars and forty nine cents for the buffet, two ninety nine for the soda pop. Total of fourteen dollars and ten cents, which was fine. And like I said, I wanted to tip the girl good afterwards, which I did, um, just because I know she was working hard. Uh, not even like getting my plates, but just in general, she was really pushing it. So it was coming on about one o'clock, and I had to be out there by one. So that gave us about forty five, maybe fifty minutes of eating time. So at this point, I was like, all right, I can go claim the rest of that uh, cinnamon roll dish, and that would be about all the time I had. So the funny thing is, I literally ate the whole pan of these things, these cinnamon bun things. I ate the whole pan in, well, three trips, the whole pan. It's pretty funny. <sighs> There's no more dessert pizza, up there, otherwise I'd also get that. But I do have to go. It's 1.02. Uh, by the time we got in here and started eating, it was about 12.10, uh, 12.12, 12.15, somewhere at the round there. So as I mentioned, just finishing up those cinnamon buns. Uh, they're good. They're tasty. I have no complaints. So at that, everybody, if you ever go to a Pizza Hut buffet, I would recommend the cinnamon buns. Um, I kind of missed it, but there was a part in this video where I started grabbing my stomach. I forgot to like point, po point it out. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. But um, about halfway through this run, I start to like feel not great in my stomach, and that's kind of when I more specifically started also switching over to the, uh, the dessert pizza and the cinnamon rolls as I thought maybe it's the cheese getting to me which generally doesn't agree with me and let's just say maybe that did happen so uh, let's go to the aftermath here pregnancy level mm. six and a half seven months <laughs> Two hours later. So I'm running late for my meeting, but I'm already late, so I might as well stop because this is pretty funny. So two findings of today. First off, Pizza Hut Buffet has the same actions as Drano, aka if you have a block drain, or even if you don't have a block drain, that is going to clear you out. And why are you late, Joel? Because I just spent the last hour on the freaking toilet. Never again, guys. I, I don't think I'm ever going to do that again. That was, uh, yeah. I'll leave that to your own discretion, but Pizza Hut Buffet and me, nah, not, not thinking we're, we're gonna have a long lasting relationship. <laughs>